everyone, so today I have a collective haul for you. I have beauty, homeware and clothing. So I'm going to get straight into it because I have quite a lot to go through. So I recently placed an order on Super Drugs. They had a load of deals on and I thought why not give it a go. If you spend over a certain amount as a beauty card holder you get free delivery. So I thought, do you know what, I'm going to just pick up everything I want online instead of trying to faff around and find it in the stores. So the first thing I bought was the VO5 Give Me Texture Dry Texturizing Spray. Dry texturizing sprays are really big at the moment, they have been for quite a while now. They are great for when you have curly hair and you want to add a bit more texture to it, and especially even when you have straight hair and it's just looking a little bit flat and you're not happy with it. There are some really expensive brands out there like All Bay and like some Bumble and Bumble and everything like that. And then there's some really low brand ones as well. I've tried um, other drugstore dry texturizing sprays. So I thought I'd give VO5 a go and they had a off, an offer on for two for something when I picked them up so I bought two because there was nothing else that I really liked the look of and I already have their uh, heat protectant so yeah picked those up and then there was another offer on and I've already used two tins of this stuff and it's dry shampoo they are still on offer I believe at buy one get one free so they're basically like 99p each when you buy them and I always get this sinful moments one which is you know my pink one absolutely love this stuff if you watch my empties videos and everything like that you know this stuff he's always in one of them I always go through this so quickly and then I saw this one which is the killer volume volumizing dry shampoo and I just like do you know what this sounds quite interesting I've never actually seen this in the stores before like never every super drug I've gone in I've never seen this so I thought I'd give it a go I haven't tried it out yet but I will let you know if this is any good I then got the Provark Touch of Silver Pre-Toning Primer. This is basically um, a really odd product. You wet your hair in the shower or the bath, however you wash your hair, and then you spray this on and then straight after you use a shampoo. And it says to use the brightening shampoo that um, I use, the toning shampoo that you can get from Provark. But I use this with every shampoo I use and it just makes your hair feel a lot softer and nicer and it's just... It meant, it's meant to help prep the hair before you use um, the brightening shampoo. It's meant to like make it so it's all like an all even over colour instead of like a patchy one. It's really hard to explain, but I'm enjoying it so far. Another thing from Provark is the intense keratin treatment shots. I have not used these yet. I saw them in Super Drugs, and this is what prompted the actual order. I was like, oh, they look really interesting. Didn't bother getting them, and then they were on offer when I saw them online. I was like, I'm just going to get some. And they're basically just like a, it's like a conditioning treatment. You use it instead of conditioner and it's apparently got keratin in it. So I thought this would be good because obviously I dye my hair and everything. And I'm trying to take a lot more better care in it. You use one shot for uh, like one treatment and you mix it with warm water. Another treatment oil that I picked up is the VO5 Hot Oil Give Me Texture. And it's got five natural oils in it. I have never ever used these and these are like such an old school thing. But I was just like, no, I'm going to give them a go. It quenches thirsty hair to lock in moisture and help strengthen it. I have not used these yet. Again, I'll let you know if they're any good. But it's a really odd product. I think my sisters have used them in the past. But I thought to give my hair a lot more like, moisture and nourishment and everything like that, I need to start using like oil treatments. Another like hair treatment thing, I picked up the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Deep Conditioning Protein Pack. I saw a few YouTubers talk about this recently. And I thought I'd give it a go. I can get about two uses out of this, like, sachet it's about two pounds and i can't wait to give it a go i really like coconut and i'm hoping this does wonders to my hair the last hair care bits are by aussie i picked up the free miracle oil reconstructor oil recently um it was new i thought i'd give it a go it's about 10 pounds but they had an offer on when i bought it and so far i'm really liking it i spoke more about this in my october favorite style link that leave that link down below so you can go check that out but so far I really enjoy it and they have another one for fine hair. And then the other Aussie product I picked up was the Miracle Recharge Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. This is my baby, I absolutely love this stuff. I always seem to run out of it and I just don't go to any other leave-in conditioner. This is one of my favourites and it's just so like purse friendly as well. I mean by price, not by size. I picked up a couple of face masks recently and they are by Montan Janice. I can never pronounce it. I picked these up in Home Bargains. I got a Manuka Honey Peel Off Mask and then I got um, just a Peel Off Mask which is Cucumber and I also got the Creamy Coconut one. I just decided to pick a load of these sachet masks up when my sister is round. We always say we want to do like a face mask and have a pamper but 
we never do so I picked a load of these up so we can actually have a face mask and a pamper and on the subject of face masks I was actually sent these but I thought I'd show you them sheet masks are really in at the moment I have used this brand before and it's timeless truth and I was lucky enough to be sent some more recently to try out their new range and sheet masks are literally all the range at the moment so many companies are doing sheet masks and I find that a lot of companies do expensive sheet masks and I find that timeless truth are like budget friendly as well as luxury like some of them are like five pounds and then some of them are ten uh, I have the apple collagen one and I have the bee venom one and the great thing about these is you can use this serum afterwards and put it on your face once you're done with the uh, mask and I think these are really really good I've used quite a lot of these now and I have to say they're one of my favourite sheet masks. My sister gave me this the other day and I thought I'd show you it and it's the So From Glory The Righteous Butter. I have never used this before and I love the smell, it's that typical So From Glory smell but she gave it to me, she had loads of So From Glory products when I helped her move the other day and she doesn't use products as much as I do so she said I could have it as soon as winter is coming. I thought it'd be great because I get such dry skin in the winter and I really like to fake a tan as well when I'm in the winter so this is going to be great for that. Another thing from Boots is the Scar Reduction Serum. I have talked about this time and time and time again. It's in my skincare routine which will also be linked down below and I just absolutely love this. If you have scars or pigmentation problems this stuff is for you. It's like £8 and it's amazing. I absolutely love it. I can't talk about it more than that like literally all I can say is it's amazing I've been using it for over a year now and I have not gone to another serum yet and the last thing from Boots is the Mitchum's Pure Fresh um, Cream Deodorant I don't even know what this one's called this is my favourite deodorant I haven't tried any of the other smells out I just like the Pure Fresh one and when I bought this back in the summer I realised how amazing it was and I had to get some more and I pick it up every time it's on offer and I pay about £2 for it. Um, I absolutely love it. I want to try the roll on and the like spray as well soon because I just love this one so much. Last beauty item, I was sent this um, as well as the face mask. I, I like to show you things I've been sent as well because I will feature them maybe one day or talk about them. This is the Coco Brown by Ms. 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 Carter. I'm so butchered that name. This is just basically their one hour tan mousse uh, in the shade dark. I have not used it yet. I am going to test it out soon. I do find when I get sent fake tans, if I get sent it in dark, I am always a little bit weary. Um, I usually go for a medium when I fake tan and I'm going to do a test batch of this. See how dark it actually is. But if it's any good, I'll let you know. And if it's not, you'll mostly see my reaction in my um, weekly vlogs because if it's not good, I don't lie about it, I'll let you know if it's not good. So I have a few homeware bits and they are candles. I always have candles in the background of my videos and recently I picked up a bunch of candles. I picked three from TK Maxx and the first one is the Everyday Lux Pumpkin Maple Sugar. It's just this like three wick candle. Ow, I just hit myself in the face just sniffing that. It's a three wick candle. It smells amazing. They already remind me of Bath and Body Works candles and they're like $7.99 each. Um, definitely recommend going into TK Maxx soon to look at these. The Everyday Lux range you can only get in TK Maxx or on eBay over in the UK I found so far. And on eBay it's very, very expensive. I also got the White Pumpkin Smell by Everyday Lux as well. And I love that. This one I'm saving because this one um, I started burning first so I'm saving this one just a little bit longer because I really love the smell of the white pumpkin. And then the last one from TK Maxx is my Christmas candle. It looks like a Christmas candle but with the, like the red and everything and it's called Holiday Tartan. Like some of these names, like I don't think you can get any of this anywhere. Um, yeah. It's, it's by a brand called dwhome.com so I'll link that down below for you all. And this is the smell Cinnamon Clove and oh my god it's it's just amazing. I, love I can't describe it. It reminds me of a sweet that I used to eat that was like cinnamony sort of flavoured and for like for the life of me I can't remember what it is. It also reminds me of, is it Hot Reds or Reds? The chewing gum, the American chewing gum. That's what it reminds me of. And this was $7.99 um, and I just can't wait to burn this in the winter. And then another Christmas candle and this is from Home Base and this is the Cinnamon Nutmeg and Clove candle. If I can open it. It's this horrible orange colour which I don't really like but it just smells amazing. It smells like baking and I really like that sort of smell and this was about £4 I believe in Home Bar not Home Bargains, Home Base. So if you're in Home Base definitely check out their candles. They're like £4 £5 and they actually are really really good. I find that they burn really well 
and they last ages and I really like the smells that they do. I have a few clothing bits now that I'm going to show you. The first thing is what I wore in my videos a couple of weeks ago which is this jumper. You've supposed to be seeing this jumper because I wore it in my October favourites and um, my collab video with the girls so definitely go check those out. It's just this like, it's like a a grey white jumper with speckles of black in and it's just kind of like a boxy sort of jumper really cute really high necked and this is from Matterland um it was something like 12 pounds and they do it in three colors this color and two others and i absolutely love it it washes really well it just looks really nice has like a big slit up the side as well which i find like a little bit more different than other um jumpers and it's just such a nice jumper it's so cozy so warm and for £12, I think it's an absolute bargain. I bought a few things off of eBay recently. The first thing are these leggings. They are just like black, slightly shiny leggings. Very similar to my American Apparel um, disco pants sort of leggings that I own. But these are like a fraction of the price. These are something like £4 on eBay. And I was a bit weary about buying them. But I've actually really liked them. And I'm going to be buying more pairs soon. I find that they're not super, super shiny. But they're like just that nice sort of shine and they're thick enough they don't show my bum and everything and I just really like them for £4. I also bought another pair of leggings and these are just the plain cotton leggings I think these cost me like £4. I picked up this scarf from eBay recently and if you've seen the one that's in Zara recently you'll know this is a exact copy of the Zara one it's a hell of a lot cheaper though I think this cost me like five or six pounds whereas the Zara one is 20. I absolutely adore this scarf. I've been wearing it loads. It looks so nice with my leather jacket and it's all just bundled up. It looks really nice on. I recently bought my bag off of eBay and I did a what's in my bag video so I'll link that down below if you want to know what I actually have in this bag. But this bag is from eBay. It was from an eBay seller. There's one person that sells it at a buy it now price and there's somebody else that does it at a bid price. I'll link both down below. I really really like it. It's just really simple and black and that's what I wanted. I wanted a simple black bag so when I have pom-poms that the hardware of the pom-pom doesn't distract from the rest of the bag. And this bag was, I think like, I can't remember, about £20? Um, but I definitely think it's worth it. The pom-poms are from a different seller on eBay and I actually have three. I have this emerald green one which is classed as turquoise green on their website but I don't think it's turquoise green. I have like a burgundy red one and a black one which I just dropped. These were about £5 each and I absolutely love them. I think they're the best quality pom-poms I've seen so far and they're from a UK seller which means that they'll be distributed a lot quicker than other pom-poms on eBay. So that was my collective haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up and all the items mentioned in this video will be linked down below so you can go shop them a little bit easier and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!